Right. Okay, so stuck connectors. Don't have, you know, there's like a fancy tool. I've never used the tool. I've set up a lot of solar before. So normally you pinch, right? Side, 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 and open. But every so often you get a guy like this. You pinch, it's stiff, right? It goes in a little bit, but not very much. And then it goes open that one millimeter, nothing happens. So this is a tool free way of opening the sucker up. All you need is basically a stick. I'm using a tool, but all you need is a stick and a wire you don't care about because this kind of stuff will happen if it's not strong enough. So we take, uh, yeah, we take the wire. The idea is basically you're, you're putting a choke, what's called a choke, a couple of loops around here and pushing these things down, putting a tourniquet on it after that, that pushes this down and then you just, you can use all your power to break this rather than, you know, your thumbs burning and uh, not having really the leverage to do this. So, haven't broken any of these yet, just broke them open and they will continue to work fine, actually better afterwards. I've had to deal with this maybe over 10 years of setting the solar up maybe six times. I've only had to deal with it about four times. So I keep forgetting how to how to do this and then rediscovering this system after hours of torture or, you know, what feels like hours of torture. So, one choke. Make sure it's going into the divot and make sure that it doesn't get caught on the little underside of the triangle there because then it won't squeeze. It will actually prevent it from squeezing. One loop slash choke. Make sure the other end is long enough. One loop. Some of them, they, they range in how wide they are. So sometimes one loop's enough, sometimes you need two. Obviously your cable is gonna vary too, but I find, at least last time I did this, two worked, I forget what I did before, uh, years ago. Okay, so got the two chokes on there. Now we pull, grab and pull. Get it nice and tight. Take our stick, shove it in the middle here. Make sure it's far enough out that these will pinch. If it's too close, they won't pinch, it won't work. Shove the tool in, keep pressure on the loop. And then all you need here is half a square knot or a hitch, whatever you want to call it. All right, got that on, tighten it up. Really very doable with just your hands. Always helps if you got an extra set, but you don't really need it here. Worst kind of story is grab it with your mouth. Mm -hmm. The tighter you get it, the less loops you have to do. Okay, so we got our double coil. We got our tourniquet. Now we just turn the stick. Haven't broken this one yet, so and it's very stiff. So put enough coils that it feels nice and tight without getting your fingers caught, preferably. This is one reason to have broken cables around in a bag, because they do come in handy. Okay, but make sure to cut these things off, otherwise <laughs> you don't know whether it's broken or not. You end up trying them. Anyway, all right, here we go. One side, two side, one side, two side, one side, two side. Click. Let's go. This one's not a clicker, but, and there she goes. Simple, no tools. All you need is a cable and a stick. Enjoy. Holla.